the way these detectors are made is people often say it's like an onion, so several different layers, and many, many layers, actually. And the pixel detector actually consists of the three smallest layers, basically, in Atlas, until we inserted the IBL, which we just finished. So that fourth layer, the IBL, is actually now the innermost layer. IBL stands for insertable B layer. Insertable because it was inserted inside of the pixel detector. The pixel detector is the most inner part of the detector because it's the first detection layer we have after the collision. So it's really next to the beam pipe. And IBL will be even more central because it's inside of the pixel detector. So it's going to be the first point of interaction of a particle coming from the collision point. The pixel detector is really like a camera. It's like the cameras you have at home, except that it's much bigger. So instead of having just one sensor like our camera has, it has many, many sensors which we put next to each other. The more pixels you have, the sharper it is. So we want to take the sharpest possible pictures of that collision. And this is really what the IBL is about. What we had to do is open the whole Atlas detector, take pieces out and insert IBL, and then close back the detector before we can get it operating again. So the IBL is, is, is like about this big in diameter, uh, about 100 millimeters in diameter. It's about, about seven meters long. And so what that means is that uh, we had to lower this very, very skinny, long thing and then push it in this basically little hole. OK, so a bit like drilling or something like that. Um, and in fact, that's the way all of these things are, are assembled. The installation uh, went actually really, really well. Um, in fact, I would say without, without really almost any hiccups. Um, in fact, it only took about an hour, hour and a half to actually slide the IBL all the way in. Um, so when you consider the fact that it's several years worth of work uh, rolled up in this, uh, this tiny package and then you kind of slide it into place in the span of an hour and a half or something like that, two hours let's say, uh, actually that's, uh, that's pretty fast progress. So the IBL is actually very, very small. It's in fact, it's only about this big in diameter uh, and only about that long. But in that space, we actually managed to pack the work of uh, basically more than 40 institutes internationally. Uh, and so that's actually really emblematic of the kind of international collaboration that we have at CERN. The initial layout of the IBL was actually US, uh, a US-based deliverable. I mean, that was something that I, I actually contributed initially. Um, and then the chips are actually a US-based design as well. So in fact, I guess you could say the two most important parts of the IBL in reality come from the US, but, <laughs> but that's maybe... Uh, we don't want to be too proud, I guess, you know, but yeah. It's very gratifying to actually see this initial concept of something that was, was stated as impossible at the outset. Uh, to see that actually not only was it possible, but that it was made, assembled, um, and then actually so elegantly inserted into the Atlas detector, into the, really the heart of the Atlas detector. It was very, very gratifying to see all of that come to fruition, especially given that people thought it couldn't be done to begin with.